How to live in New York City free on zero dollar a day for 365 days. The ultimate minimalist tutorial to use if you're broke, curious, adventurous, or simply in love with a city that never sleeps. New York City has a reputation for being one of the most expensive cities in the world. The metropolis is home to very successful people, but millions still live below the poverty line. In today's show, we're revealing how to live in New York City free for 365 days. All sessions in this tutorial are interrelated, so make sure to watch it till the end. Also, make sure you apply our five basic rules in everything you do in the Big Apple during the next year. Be sage. I'm talking about skills, age, gender, education. So be really sort of uh, immersed in those four variables. Stay in contact with the primary network. Have good internet access. Boost your karma and find a friend or two. Understandably, you've got to give something to receive something. That's the fundamental law of life and it also apply in New York City. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Sweetie Kiwi Show, the world's largest infotainment show. I'm very happy to talk about today's topic. And uh, I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. And if you are doing marvelous as I am, go grab a cup of coffee. And <laughs> oh, <see you. laughs> Before we get into the nitty gritty, let me quickly give a shout out to some of our viewers and listeners, particularly Amira McMillan from Oregon City, from the beautiful state of Oregon, Rachel Rogers from Tigra, Oregon, and California from Portland, Oregon. Now, before we get into the, the, the nitty gritty here, how to live in your city free, let me quickly give you some basics here right uh, and those basics are very important if you want to understand this tutorial now number one be wise and apply the sage principle sage stands for s-a-g-e so sage skills your age your gender and education so you want to really find out what kind of skills you have right uh, painting swimming foreign language craft diy you name it your age you want to match your age bracket with the kind of uh, skills you are the kind of job you're looking for gender match your research with your gender and education right education will be your concentration your topics of interest and so on and so forth number two stay in contact with the primary network here by primary network i'm talking about religious congregation your country if you if you are a foreigner contact both of your embassies you know you have the your your country's embassies to the united states and also your country's embassies to the united nations right so if you have some kind of uh, aff affinity with an association of folks with whom you share the same heritage do that professional body is also important number three you want to have 24 7 access to internet right now of course in new york city you have free wi-fi citywide this is very important so you use those you want to be able to google this terms coupons promo code sales cashback offers gift card deals best coupon website whatever like those things will help you get things for free and you want to sign up for any of those websites you want to create an account on uh, some coupon websites retail me not free stop finder join honey wikibuy there's there are gazillions of those websites you want to really but you, you but you need to sign up right you also want to sign up for online test groups for restaurants clothing stores sports organizations and pooling companies you can also use your wi-fi your free wi-fi to earn money by answering questions and surveys right so all you got to do just go in google or bing or any or your your preferred search engine and type earn cash for surveys all right another thing you want to do which is number four is you want to boost your karma account in other words you want to register on new york cares you want to volunteer you want to volunteer a few hours each week and you want to do a random act of kindness at least each week you want to donate anonymously to a charity online it could be one dollar it could be it could be 50 cents it could be five dollars doesn't matter the, the, the what matters is the gesture the quantity the amount doesn't matter but the, the the gesture really matters and number five you want to find a buddy or two you can find a buddy on social media you can find a buddy on offline 
try to interact often keep in touch with that buddy and keep a diary right so I'm just giving you the basics here before we even get into the nitty-gritty you got to get those basics and those basics are very important because as you're trying to live for free in New York City the city that never sleeps you need to get those five basics again let me just repeat them. be wise and apply the sage principle skills age gender education you want to stay in contact with, with a primary network you want to have 24 7 access to the internet you want to and with that's number three number four you want to boost your karma account by volunteering and helping others right you if you want to receive help you got to give and number five you want to find a buddy or two never be alone in a big city as uh, in a city as big as new york find a buddy or two buddies online offline doesn't matter and try to keep in contact with those friends I'll be right back right after this. I'm going in. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We still continue here our conversation around how to live for free in New York City for one year. I want to quickly give a shout out to Camilla Hendricks in Allentown, Pennsylvania, Peyton Franklin in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and Molly Hunter in Bethlehem, California, California, not California, Pennsylvania. So, Miley. Clayton and Camilla, thank you so much for your help and your support. Now, I was talking earlier about boosting your karma account. This is very important. You need to perform random act of kindness while living in your city for free for one year. This is very important. You you gotta get into those rack what are called racks, random acts of kindness. You can, um, and again, this might sound a little weird, a little strange, but all this is part of us something very sophisticated that if you listen to the show till the end you would see how all those things sort of uh, are part of a a part of a solid solid tutorial solid approach now how do you do random acts of kindness here i'm not saying to i'm not asking you to donate five or ten bucks you you have to do something you have to help someone you have to say something you have to be nice to people for you for the universe to kind of reward you here all right so you, you can compliment drivers on how well they park you can write positive sticky notes you can send an encouraging email to someone you haven't spoken to in a while you can uh, wheel out your, your neighbor's trash bin right you can send a postcard to um, to a relative you haven't spoken to in a while text someone good morning or good night right I mean we all need this kind of positivity in this world don't we Right, text someone today right now. Good morning or good night. By, uh, by the way, these tips here apply to everybody's life, whether or not they're, they're trying to live in New York City for free for one year, right? <laughs> so you can join an online forum and offer advice to someone, right? Plant a tree. Make a make a difference in your environment and life, right? Write a positive comment on a website or blog. You know, we live in um, in in a world where the internet has uh, asserted its dominion, and people kind of take it, you know, take it easy when it comes to being courteous online because they they're thinking, you know, they have anonymity. In other words, nobody can catch them. But you know, when you when you have the opportunity, it's always good to do something positive, to write and leave a positive comment on a website or blog. Right? Go to your favorite spot and help someone there ask a senior about their past you know it's always interesting to ask um, you know a senior about his or her past and uh, you learn a lot you learn a lot just by listening to uh, our seniors you want to compliment a parent on how well behaved their child is leave a surprise in a library book this is this is one of my favorite very important right so here I'm, folks I'm giving you a list of random acts of kindness you have to do whether you are living in New York or you are planning on going to New York and to live there for free you want to be able to pay something to the universe so that the universe will actually reward you back you know open the wave of uh, opportunities and um, and uh, good options to you you want to be able to get those things done and so random acts of kindness are very important I have a few more to kind of inspire you. You don't have to do all of them, right? Just do two or three or four, and this should be fine. You can tutor someone. You can write down someone's best qualities as opposed to always criticizing people. You can leave a surprise 
in your mailbox for your mail carrier. I love this one too, right? You know, you know the U.S. Postal, the USPS guy who comes to your house, leave leave him a good, a positive note. You might make his day, right? You want to praise the local business online again. Where you know people are always thinking about criticizing folks online, but it's always good to, from time to time, when they deserve it, to leave something positive. Bring someone a souvenir. Organize a cleanup party. You can leave a generous tip. You can pen a handwritten letter, and you can thank you can thank someone every week. So here is a, you can even volunteer, which is one of my favorite too. You, you can volunteer in an animal shelter, right? So this is uh, the list of uh, random acts of kindness you need to do, and uh, I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are still talking about how to live in New York City for free. In the first section of this show, I talked to you about the basics. In the second section, I just kind of gave you a list of a random act of kindness that you might want to consider. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty. To live in New York City for free, you can either rely on the authorities, so you can rely on the government, or you can rely on yourself. Now, I want to talk to you about how you can rely on yourself first, all right? So, where to find free housing while working? So, if you're, if you're working, if you get a chance to get a job somewhere, where do you find free housing? You can, free, you can find free housing with a relative or an acquaintance. I'm talking here about a family member, a friend, or a colleague, right? You just go and live. You go and live with them, right? You can, you can find free housing at a patient's house. So, you know, a senior, an adult. So if you're taking care of a senior, if you're taking care of an adult, let's say an adult who, is, uh, who has a medical condition or you're taking care of children. You can also find free housing while working at a museum. You can be a staff member. You can be a volunteer, an intern, right? So, and, and, and a lot of archivists and curators, they need help. So those those people, those professionals sometimes wouldn't mind hosting you on site. All right. So I'm talking about archivists, curators, but also museum technicians and conservators. So those whether you are one of them or you are helping them, you can you can find free, free uh, housing on site. And New York has a lot of museums here, so you can really, really get free housing. You can also get free housing at a student's house, right? You can be, if you are a private tutor, let's say you are tutoring a, a child in music, craft, dance, math, whatever. Depending upon your circumstances, you can get free housing while tutoring the child. You can also get a, free, you can also get free housing as a teacher on a homeschooling contract, right? Some parents are very, they they would rather homeschool their children. And they wouldn't mind actually hiring a teacher to provide this sort of a diverse and comprehensive education to their to their little ones. So you can get free housing through that conduit too. You can also get free housing while working on a historic property. Here I'm talking about, you know, uh, not just museums, but I'm just talking about a castle, that kind of stuff. So you can be a staff member, volunteer, intern. So if you have language skills. If you have curation skills or other skills, you can apply for that. You can also get free housing while working on something called 365-day perma pet sitting. So this is, uh, you know, you sit pets, sit dogs or cats, and you, this can be a long term with one or two pets, or you can do this short term with several different pets, right? So you can do one month here, one month there, one month to another, from a, uh, to covering, I mean, one month sitting one pet and then move on in the neighborhood or you can just you know sit the same pet over 12 months all right you can also get free housing at a church monastery a synagogue a mosque so religious houses across the globe offer free stays to people wanting to learn and take part in their way of communal living right now you don't have to be you don't have to have a great faith yourself but you will be expected to abide by their rules so in other words you don't have to be jewish for a synagogue to to welcome you they will welcome you they will open their arms and their houses and their doors to you but while you're there you just need to abide by their rules right i always would advise you to try your own faith first 
So if you're a Muslim, it's just better to to get close to contact a local mosque. If you're if you're Christian, if you're Catholic, you want to contact the the local church and so on and so forth, right? You can also get free housing while working for a charity, a homeless shelter, right? Not you don't have to be a homeless to work to live on site. You can be a staff member for the shelter. And um, if there if it is possible, they will uh, allocate some kind of free some kind of a free space to you. You can also get free housing while working on a farm or ranch. You can also try something called couch surfing. Uh, you can also uh, get free housing while working at a hotel. You can get free housing while working uh, on a vessel or boat around New York. And you can also get free housing as part of a language exchange in New York City, right? Another thing that you can do to get free housing in New York City is to work for, if you want to live in a forest or parks, that's also very interesting. You can sign up as a volunteer or intern with NYC Parks. And you can try to become an urban park ranger the good thing is that they have they do have accommodation not much but if you are if you have a passion if you want to live with uh, white-tailed deer red fox opossum straps skunk eastern gray squirrels bats and coyotes if you have this sort of a uh, passion in you you can become an urban park ranger with N new york city parks and that's a great way to get free parking i mean free parking <laughs> free housing while living while working in New York City. I'll be right back right after this. Thank you. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We're still continuing our conversation here. In the, in the last session, I spoke to you about how where to find free housing while working. Now I want to talk to you while working in New York City. Now I want to talk to you about how to get a job with free room and board in New York City. Now, the first thing you can do is search online for something called live on-site jobs, right? So you have Indeed.com, Career Builder, Google, Glassdoor, Idealist, LinkedIn, Upwork, Dice.com. You want to type in live on-site jobs, right? So you want to target such jobs as home tutor, right? Safety, security, au pair, nanny. Building superintendent, on-site resident manager, hotel, nursing, nursing home, hospital staff, right? Uh, property maintenance, the security, touring show assistant, tourism job, living caregiver, farm, ranch, hand, right? Now, these things you always want to put the New York City, you know, location to it, right? So this is, those are jobs where you get free room and board. All right now how do you get free food in New York City now go to go to your favorite search engine Google Bing you name it and tap in legit places to eat for free in New York City legit places to eat for free in New York City now legit here is an important keyword right because the last thing you want is to just to go to a dodgy location and trying to get in, and trying to get some food from a dodgy location so you don't want that so you want to go to a legit place you want to collect all paper coupons you, you, you see, right? From neighbors, mailboxes, at, at stores. Collect those. Go to food pantries. You can go to homeless shelters. You know, some homeless shelters have pretty good, some pretty good menu when it comes to food and should be fine. You also can use online and offline coupons, right? And as I said earlier, if you have, you need to have access to the internet, access to internet here, and you want to sign up and become part of a test group with major retailers, restaurants, and food shops. Now, how do you get free clothing in New York City? You can use online and offline coupons. You can go to thrift stores. Some thrift stores don't have a free, uh, I would say, free clothing, but they, they are very, very cheap. And you can go to discount stores, right? In the city, you have a lot of discount stores three of which are really really have been there for a while and they are very reliable i'm talking about century 21 on the upper west side right that's um uh, 1972 broadway in new york so that's between 66th and 67th street right so if you if you take the um, for the subway you can take the a c b d uh, the 1 to 59th street columbus circle 
right now there's another store called housing works thrift store in soho that's one the exact address is 130 crosby street of course in new york and this is this store is between prince and uh, west um, houston streets uh, for subway you, you can take the train uh, the, the, the bdf or v train to broadway lafayette street and the third store is the primark staten island now this is located inside the staten island mall and the address is 2555 2655 richmond avenue in staten island so that's how you can get free clothing or very 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 cheap clothing now how do you get free transportation in new york city now what you want to do you want to see if you qualify for any uh, mta discount right you can get a metro card through a charity which is very important you can get you know you can get a metro card through through work also you can one thing you want to do is you want to go through your primary network if you remember earlier i spoke about your primary network being so anything from your um, any association in your you know uh, in your neighborhood uh, around your uh, your faith your, your religious faith your congregation so you want to go through th those networks to see if you can get um, any kind of uh, free transportation free car right and also consider ride sharing you don't have to own a car if you are able to cultivate good relations with people around you they might be able to give you free rides all right how do you get free entertainment in new york city you can volunteer in the events you want to attend for instance a sports event right if, if the Yankees are playing and you want to go to the Yankees, you know, Yankee Stadium, you can consider applying for volunteering uh, for a volunteering position. So basically, they're not paying you, but you are able to attend the event and uh, have fun. You can do that. You can use the same strategy for movie theaters across the city. Right. Use online and offline coupons. You want to participate in social media giveaways. A lot of them. Um, entertainment companies have social media particularly facebook pages and they conduct occasionally giveaways and you want to be part of that another thing you want to do is you want to find group to spend leisure time with right so if you're able to split the cost you're you're doing good and sometimes the cost can can be even zero if you have the right group right so that's pretty important now how do you get free health insurance while in new york this is a good this is a very important question you know health insurance being a, a great 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 concern of uh, millions of americans now first thing is you want to google where to go if you are uninsured in new york city you can also google free and reduced cost clinics in new york now those are very important because you want to be able to first look for a free free options there those options are still there but you need to search for them the reason why we're not giving you any specific link here is that the information changes all the time but if you search yourself in your favorite search engine you should be able to get that info another thing you want to do is you want to find out clinics that provide medical services for a sliding fee based on your income level to patient with our health insurance you want to check discounted prescriptions for patients without prescription drug coverage. Another another thing that's very important here, and I need to be very cautious here, is to, to warn you, beware of scammers and so-called free medical insurance, right? The, the last thing you want is to, to participate in, this kind of, in some kind of dodgy lab test for medical research. You don't want that okay so always be be aware of those uh, those risks there are sitting there in a city as big as new york new york city i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere <laughs> welcome back folks to another edition of sweetie kiwi i'm very uh happy to continue this conversation here and i want to quickly give a shout out to niam wilkinson from houston texas kyle martin in san antonio of course texas and Victoria Ross in Harvest Christie, Texas. Now, in the in the late in the previous section, I was talking about how to how you would rely on on yourself. Now, I want to talk to you about how you can rely on others. When it comes to relying on others to live free in New York City, it's better to seek public assistance. Right? The Big Apple can be an incredibly generous city if you know how and where to ask for generosity. All right? So get general help where to seek help you can seek help at new york new york state agencies federal agencies charities community groups and private companies 
right? When it comes to private companies though, make sure they have a website and the CEO or managing director and senior staff all have a LinkedIn profile and other social media accounts. Because again, you want to stay away from scammers and all whatever. So, you know, you want to stay off of scams such as pay to play and, and all those schemes that prey on vulnerable people or children, that kind of stuff. So always to be on the safe side, I always recommend to to seek help from federal and from government agencies. All right. Now, public assistance. There is a website called Access New York City. So it's www.accessaccess.nyc.gov. This website is very important, very, very important. And that website has public assistance in various categories. They provide public assistance for those who qualify in several categories, cash and expenses, child care, CDID card, education, enrichment, family services, food, health, housing, people with disability and work so basically uh, I'm, I'm gonna quickly go through some of the some of the uh, the the programs that I have here for you to really for you to really check so for instance uh, they provide financial help to cover the cost and installation of an air conditioner or fan cooling assistance benefits right so this of course if you go to the website you can see all the we have all the info around that the particular program they also the government might also give you if you qualify money to buy food you know and supplemental and this is called a snap program this is the supplemental nutritional assistant assistance program so you might want to double check that also if you qualify the, there's also a service for child support services that is run by the Office of Child Support Services. So this is uh, basically this is basically very important. And what it is is that they would basically, you know, if you are behind child support, or if if if, uh, you, if your partner does not give you the child support you need, you can go through this program, and they will provide the cash and the necessary support temporarily. There are also opportunities and advice for job seekers and this program is run by workforce one within the department in the new york city department of small business services and they will help you get a job another another program that is run by the new york city the city of new york is called get emergency food now now this is part of the efap emergency food assistance program that again allows people to to eat for free in new york city of course if they qualify now the website is very well designed and they have all the conditions that you need to you need to uh, fulfill to qualify right another program in new york city is called a cash assistance now it's they provide they give you cash when you are in need right so this is this this one is very very important the um the the interesting thing here is that they just give you food they, 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 they give you cash they give you a card a debit card that you can use in any atm or stores where you know where ebt's are accepted now the only thing here is that you need to be a u.s citizen or have satisfactory immigration status to receive cash, cash assistance there are a lot of other conditions i mean six or seven conditions for each program so the what you really want to do is go to the website and sit down and study and see which one applies to you and which one you can qualify for all right i'll be right back right after this don't go away. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I want to quickly um, thank you for, for for being with us. And uh, if you like this show so far, consider subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate it. We uh, provide uh, beautiful shows like this one every single day. And uh, like this content, share it with people, with friends and family. Comment below. Help us know. We want to be able to help people who are in need if, you, if they want to live in new york city in the city of opportunities in the city of uh, of chances if they want to live for free we're giving people tips here tips and tactics to live for free and we were we're still talking about some government some public programs that come that really help 
those who are in need and uh, there's another one called uh, the affordable public housing so public housing uh, this program is run by the new york city housing authority and this applies to everyone if you want to get free housing of course you need to qualify but you you, you have to go through through the you have to go to the website and apply and if you're accepted you get free housing number nine there's another uh, we also have another program called the home energy assistant program the heat program this provides money for heat and utility expenses right so you can um, apply for heap every year between november and march this is specifically for the winter uh, the winter season so people are able to live and not get too cold now the city through this through this program pays the cost either directly to the company right if you have a heating benefits and or utility benefits or to the household if you have utility benefits only all right another program that might be of, in of interest to you at least for those who are foreigners because this program is not just for foreigners by the way it's mostly for americans who want to live in your city for free so but but if you happen to be a foreigner there is a program called new york city ny citizenship that provides free citizenship application assistance and this is right into the the mayor's office of immigrant affairs so this basic and you can if you want to um to get help you need to call now you can call 311 and say citizenship appointment and or you can go to the website and um basically you know request an appointment there another program that might be of interest to you is called train and earn and this provides this program provides job prep for youth not working or in school all right, so this is very uh, this is available for young people ages 16 to 24 who are not working and not in school right so what they do is they help with college placement hsc prep and support services and you can enroll in, in this program at different times throughout the year no questions asked all right i'll be right back right after this thank you Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. So here, here you have it. We've talked today about how to live in New York City free for one year. I just want to quickly give a recap of today's conversation. But before I do that, let me give a shout out to Salma Rios, Salma Rios in Denville, Virginia, Chris Pickman in Fredericks, Fredericksburg, Virginia, and Marisa McCall in Leesburg, Virginia. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your help. Today's conversation here is a recap. In the section one, I gave you the, the basics, right? So I was talking about in anything you do, be always, remember the basics. You want to be wise and you want to apply the SAGE principle, right? SAGE, I'm talking about your skills, your age, your gender, and your education. You want to stay in contact with the primary network. You want to have 24-7 internet access. Again, we have free Wi-Fi city, free Wi-Fi citywide in New York, so you, can, you should be able to have that you want to boost your karma account by doing random act of kindness and you want to find a body with whom you can interact this is very important in the section two i gave you some random act of kindness in the session three i show you how to rely on yourself while in your city right i spoke to you about where to find free housing while working how to get a job with free room and board how to get free food free clothing free transportation free entertainment and free health insurance in New York City. In the section four, I showed you how to rely on others, specifically how to get general help. And I gave you a few programs that, that are run by the, New York, the city of New York, the mayor's office, that can help you. For instance, financial help to cover the cost and installation of an, of an AC or fame, money to buy food, child support services, opportunities and advice for job seekers, how to get emergency food now, how to get cash help when you are in need, affordable public housing, money for heat and utility expenses, free citizenship application assistance, 
and job prep for youth not working or in school. So all those programs are are available. They are free. The city is not charging you anything. You just gotta see. You just just gotta make sure that you qualify for those programs. But once you do, they'll take care of you. They'll help you. Again, as I said earlier, the city of New York, it, the the New Yorkers are known for their, their generosity, right? So the city is able to help others, those in need, within the limits, right? Within the budgetary limit, of course. So now here is today's call to action. Now, contrary to contrary to our common practice of giving a call to action in each of our shows, this program has no call to action. Instead, we invite you to think about how to live better and simpler. As you've probably noticed, this tutorial is not only about living in the Big Apple for free over 365 days, it's also about frugal living, financial responsibility, and humane living. So we hope that no matter where you live, you can live well for less with the help of coupons, creativity, positive people, and a little bit of luck. Stay marvelous, and I have a pro tip for you right after this. I'm going to. Here is today's pro tip. You can put out a message on social media, Facebook for example, asking if any of your friends know someone in New York City who could put up with you. You may be surprised at just how effective this is, and you'll meet some new people in the process. Stay marvelous. Thank you.